Hey guys, welcome to my channel Linux King. My name is Salman Francis and today we are going to see how to automate our backup from our local Linux box to Amazon S3. So let's start. First of all, I would like to take you to my website techo.net and here in the blog section you can find the same how-to which I'm going to show you today. It's called automating backup from local machine to AWS S3. So you can just go and read about this uh, information and there are certain requirements that uh, AWS CLI should be configured on local Linux machine and you must have internet connectivity of course and what steps you are going to follow are create S3 bucket where we would be sending our data for backup uh, using AWS CLI to issue the uh, command to backup we will be using AWS CLI and using cron to schedule our backup so let's start I am on this my machine Dragon and if I list with AWS S3 LS you can see that I am able to list the content and in my S3 console you can also see that the same content is available. So what we are going to do is we are going to create one bucket. It's simple. I'm going to call it. Uh, let's make it locally first. So make directory backup 2020 okay now we have this backup 2020 and at the moment you can see that we don't have anything in it okay next what I'm going to do is I'm going to use the command AWS s3 make bucket and I'm going to call it s3 taco let's call it backup tackle okay so let's list the content AWS S3 LS and here we have it backup tackle and from our console if we refresh it <clears throat> we would be able to see this uh, backup tackle okay perfect so at the moment you can see that there's nothing available in this uh, bucket as well you can see it's an empty bucket so what I'm going to do is I am going to use AL, uh, AWS CLA to uh, create some backup so first what we are going to do is we are going to copy some files in our backup folder so here let me create touch file 1.txt file 2.txt and file 3.txt and now you can see we have three files and I'm going to issue the command AWS S3 sync okay sync current directory and the content and where I would like to send to our uh, backup dash techo directory and if all goes well you can see that uh, the files have been uploaded and now if we just refresh this you can see that all the files are uploaded perfect so this is how you can upload the file but how to use the sync utility for automating backup well let's see so let's see if you want um, like let's say you have added another file uh, let's create a touch new file dot txt and if you issue the command again sync we will see that only the new file which you just have created will be uploaded so we can prove it here perfect so you can see that new file is uploaded now we can see that all this uh, that our folder the backup folder is syncing with backup taco folder so this is what we wanted so first two things uh, like create S3 buckets we have done and using AWS CLI to issue the command to backup we have done. Not Now what we are going to do is we are going to use cron to schedule our backup and which will eventually automate our task. So to do that what I'm going to do is first thing I need to know where is my uh, working directory. So it's opt op slash backup 2020. Okay and now to install this in cron we are going to edit our cron tab 
And over here you can see I've already created one uh, cron. It was my test actually. And here we are going to do for our demo actually, what we are going to do is we are going to um, back up every minute. Actually, you can change it to like five minutes by uh, by doing this, by 10 minutes by doing this or something, uh, 10 minutes like this. So what I'm going to do for demo purpose, I'm going to use it for every one minute. It's going to back up. And what is the uh, AWS um, basically path? It's user local bin AWS. USR slash local slash bin slash AWS. And the command is going to be S3 sync and where is this is our directory which we want to sync and all the content in it content in it and we are going to send it to backup dash techco okay just to make sure that we are going to send it in our correct directory so it's backup dash techco okay perfect now we can just save and quit and now how do i know that the path was uh, for amazon uh, cli was slash user slash local we can use which aws command and you can see it's showing it in its user slash local slash bin slash aws okay now we need to restart cron system restart cron and that's it now let's say we have created a new file and this time we are not going to manually uh, run the command. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to touch a file and it's and I'm going to call it it pings dot txt or it pings dash after cron. Press enter and at the moment look at the time. It's 9.49 and at 9.50.27 it should be it should be available here. I'm not going to run any other uh, command. Okay, let's check. And once this is done, we will have our automatic backup. So anytime you copy a file in this folder, in your backup 2020, all the files will go automatically to your S3. So, okay, now we should have our file in a couple of seconds. Okay, now I'm going to refresh and we should have our file. Here we have it, perfect. So you can see that without running any command, uh, the cron did our job and now we have our automatic backup from our local Linux box to S3. And again, we can do the same uh, for other files as well. Okay, one more thing. Let's say if you want to delete the file, how you can do it, is you can run the same command AWS S3 and instead of syncing what you are going to do is remove the file and what file you want to remove let's say we want to remove uh, uh, the file which we created okay because it's going to reappear there so what was the file name Let's list it first. So AWS LS S3 backup tackle. So let's see, we are going, we want to remove this. It pings again. So to do that, AWS S3 RM S3 backup dash go and this is the file okay now we will see that the file has been deleted and you know it's not available here but after one minute this file will uh, come back to our 
S3 bucket. So let's wait for another minute. It should appear at 953.15. Nine fifty two forty one. At the moment, we can see that it's not available there. Nine fifty two fifty four. And after fifteen seconds, the file should be available. Okay, it should be available now. Let's check our. AWS S3 LS and moment of truth, perfect. Here we have it. It pings dash after cron dot text. So perfect guys, thank you very much for watching my video. If you want to follow uh, it on the blog post, you can go to again to taco.net, click on blog and you will have the blog post of automatic backup from local machine to AWS S3. I have tried to give all the details as possible so anyway if you like my video please do subscribe to it please post or leave a comment on my youtube channel linux king and see you in our next video until then goodbye thank you